On this video we're going to concentrate on the electronic part. The idea is to do the panel that we made on our last video and it's going to be sitting something like that and then I got this uh, six millimeters MDF that I've, I've already cut and is the same width as this panel. This is going to be at the back. So it's going to be doing something like this and it's going to be sitting right here. Now, because this panel is already six millimeter, there's going to be here a six millimeter gap between the, uh, the plate uh, of the panel and this new piece of MDF. So I have six, meter, uh, six millimeters uh, gap. What I'll be doing is, on top here, I'm going to put the, uh, the LEDs here, I will be putting uh, strips of LEDs. These are the LEDs I'm going to be using. Uh, and what they're going to be doing, th this is going to basically act as the backlight of the system. Uh, this six millimeter gap will be just enough for me to, to put a uh, few strips of LEDs uh, in here. And I'm going to be drilling a, a hole somewhere here, probably more than, more than one. Uh, to let the wires come out at the back uh, and then go to the to the power source One of the things we need to do is we are going to have to make this hole a little bit bigger reason for that is that the dimmer that we're going to be using uh, Is a little bit bigger than this hole now. This is an eight and something millimeters hole uh, and I and the shaft of the dimmer is about 12 millimeters uh, what I'll do is I'll drill first a hole with a 10 millimeter bit, uh, and then I'll change the bit and I'll use a uh, I'll use a 12 millimeter. I just don't want to go all the way directly to 12. Now the plates are finished, we're going to do the same thing on the, the MDF panel. Uh, with, with the MDF panel I'll just go directly 12 millimeters, that should be fine. Now the next part, we need to look at the holes for the potentiometers. Now the potentiometer is a little bit different from the, diff, uh, from the dimmer. While the dimmer has a, a pretty thick uh, shaft here, uh, the potentiometer is a lot smaller. So first of all, we don't, uh, we don't need to amend the already existing holes because it fits just fine. Uh, all we have to do is, uh, once we put this through, we're going to have to cut uh, this a little bit shorter. There is absolutely no need for it to be so long before we put the cap on top of it. But we do need to go ahead and make four holes. They are eight millimeters tall. The holes for the um, potentiometers are ready. I actually made them just, I decided instead of going with an 8mm bit, I went with a 6mm bit because once the, the shaft goes through the, uh, through the hole, it's really, there is, no, with a 6mm, I, I basically measured this and it's a 6mm and if I, if I did the hole just the same, there is absolutely no play, which is much better when I start mounting them on. Uh, another thing I've done is, um, I created two extra holes, one in here and, and one in here. Uh, they are simply uh, to, once I put the, LED, the strips of LEDs, they're just simply uh, going to be used to put cables going through and then come out at the back, uh, just for commodity. I have pre-drilled a few holes, 
and, and I've countersinked them and now I'm going to put some small screws to attach the plate to the back of the, uh, to the, back of the panel. I've decided not to glue this panel just in case I need to something goes wrong and I need to remove it. Uh, Okay, in the meanwhile, I've prepared some screws uh, and some bolts. The reason I put them on this, uh, uh, this way, basically, is because I'm going to be painting each and every one uh, of these screws and bolts. Uh, basically, just the heads. They're going to be painting them the same gray uh, that, that I've been painting everything else. Uh, so that when I, when I screw the, the face, the, 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 the panel on top, uh, you're not going to really see the, the silver screw that is not just not going to look as nice. Now that all the screws that we're going to require for the two panels are painted grey, uh, we're going to put this aside so that they dry and we're going to start on the uh, backlighting system. So these are the LEDs that I'm going to use for the backlighting. I'm going to be cutting them and put two or three strips per plate here. This strip here basically needs to be cut. They go, each, each piece, they go three LEDs per piece. So you cannot cut, let's say, if you need only two LEDs, you cannot cut two LEDs. You need to cut uh, every three LEDs. And, and there is, basically, there is a, a marking where you, can, uh, where you can cut. It's right here between the plus and minus sign on, this, on these dots here. In between those four dots, that's where you can make a cut. I cut two strips. Each strip, each strip has three LEDs. On top of it has a, a plastic layer. Um, I've cut just a little bit off where the two cables needs to be connected, just so I could uncover the, the the two metal parts where I can start soldering the cables. So then I've cut two two little cables now. It would be nice if I had a red and a black, unfortunately I only have a red, but ultimately it doesn't really matter as long as you connect them correctly. And then eventually they're going to go and get plugged to a 12 volt, uh, to a 12 volt generator that I have here. This is the power I'm going to be using, it provides two types of voltage. These cables here provides, a, uh, provides 12 volts and this other provides 5 volts for different type of users. For the moment we're just going to be using the 12 volts.